Here, we're going to review deployment of the Minx Control Closure Device. This is what you get when you open the package. You can see that it's fairly simple. It just has two parts, a syringe, and then everything else is loaded on the device. For preparation, you first need to get about 3 cc of fluid into the syringe. This can be either saline or contrast. And then you attach the syringe to the back of the device. Now you're ready to deploy. You can also see that the Minx comes with a set of instructions that you can refer to. The first step is to test the device. So you're going to look at the tip and then while the stopcock is open, you're going to push down on the syringe to see if the balloon fills. You can see it fill here. At the back of the device, you will see white, black, white on the indicator, which confirms full expansion. Then you pull back on the syringe and make sure that the balloon collapses. As long as the balloon fills and collapses, you're ready to deploy. For Minx control, you don't need to rewire the sheath. You just insert the Minx into the sheath. You want to hold it close to the tip initially, and then you can advance like normal. You can see at this green part, on Minx control, it actually has a hook that's designed to catch onto the sheath sidearm. So you rotate that around and it locks onto the sheath. Then you can rotate the white handle so that the buttons face toward you. You can see that this will hold onto the sheath while I'm holding onto the handle here. Next, you're going to push on the syringe to deploy the balloon. You push until you see white, black, white on the indicator at the back end of the device. At this point, you would lock the syringe. On this model, it's like looking inside the patient. The yellow layer represents the arteriotomy. You can see the balloon deployed inside the lumen of the vessel. Now because the hook is holding onto the syringe, I'm just going to walk it out by pulling on the device. As the balloon approaches the arteriotomy, you'll feel a little bit of resistance. On this model, I have to support this because it's not as strong as a real patient. As I'm pulling, once I get enough tension, you'll see that this line straightens out and becomes a solid line. Once that line is solid, you can go ahead and deploy. So you push the number one button with your thumb, and what that does is push down against the arteriotomy. You can see a little clock icon here, and you can see it on the instructions. So I'm going to set the device down, and we're at the waiting time. We're going to wait two minutes while the device works. Now through the magic of editing, our two minutes are done. On the instructions, we move on to the second side. Now while the stop clock is still closed, you pull negative and lock the syringe. This just makes the next step easier. Next, we're going to hold the device at about a 45 degree angle, and you're going to support that with your left hand. With your right hand, you're going to open the stop clock, this opens the vacuum and co collapses the balloon. Then you pick up the device again, and you're gonna press the number two button. That collapses everything into the device, and then you just pull it out and hold manual pressure. You're gonna hold about one minute of manual pressure over the arteriotomy. On this model, we're looking under the skin so you can see the polyethylene glycol plug that gets deployed over the arteriotomy. 
and then on the inside there's actually nothing because for the minx control the balloon actually comes out so this polyethylene glycol plug will stay over the arteriotomy maintaining hemostasis and then dissolves over the next 30 days by hydrolysis and then there's nothing left